Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. I trust that you are having a great day thus far. May the Lord find us watching. The song entitled, written based on 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. No man that seeketh after things of this life is a soldier who passeth the test. Be faithful, be walking, be running, be serving. Be serving his word for all his best. May the Lord find us faithful. May his word be our banner hell high. May the Lord find us faithful every day, though we live or though we die. We are looking at Nehemiah chapter 4 from verse 7 down to the end of the chapter. And we are sharing from this portion of scripture and saying where there's no need to be afraid when we are called upon to do the work of the Lord. It may be something that we think that we cannot do. There's no need to be afraid. There may be those who may be threatening you. There's no need to be afraid. Now, if you've been following these devotions, you will notice that Sambalat, he was doing everything in his power and his friends to stop the work. Now, what Sambalat could not do just by talking, he now moved to do by plotting with the surrounding cities to attack the builders of the wall from all sides. This caused the builders to become afraid and fearful. Fear is something that has and will cripple anyone who takes his or her eyes off the goal and look at the distance of the goal. It crippled the one who takes his eyes off the Lord and put it on situations that are at hand. It was President Franklin Delano Roosevelt in his first inauguration address on March the 4th 1933, at the time the nation was facing one of the biggest economic depressions that you could think of. And this is what he said in his address. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Remember that. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Henry David Theodore, he said, nothing is so much to fear as fear. Over and over in the Bible, we are told, fear not. As a child of God, especially if you are in the will of God, there is no need to be afraid because it was Jesus himself who said, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke chapter 12 and verse 32. Fear not, it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. I want to take a little time and share with you in regards to this matter of fear. There are some three main points I wish to share with you in regards to this matter, what we must be careful with. So let me start with number one. Be careful not to be intimidated. Be careful not to be intimidated. Look at chapter 4, verse 7 to verse number 9 of Nehemiah. Let me read it for you again. But it came to pass that when Sambalat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up, 
and that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very wroth and conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. Have you ever tried to intimidate anyone? Or have you ever been intimidated? Hmm. Be reminded, what Satan cannot do by deceit, he tries to do by force. The devil, our enemy, he has no shortage of manpower. The Jews have enemies. They have two enemies in chapter 2 and verse 10. Just two. When Sambalat, the Horonite, and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite, heard of it, it grieved him exceedingly, and they had come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. Started with two, two enemies, Sambalat and Tobiah. Then in chapter 2 and verse number 19, there you find three enemies. But when Sambalat, the Horonite, and Tobiah, the servant, the Ammonite, and Geshem, the Arabian, heard it. They laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, What is this thing that we do? Will he rebel against the king? They now have two enemies. But when we come to chapter 4, what we just looked at, and verse number 7, it isn't two enemies no more. It isn't three enemies no more, but notice how many. But it came to pass that when Sambalat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Asherites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very afraid. Not only Sambalat the Horonite, but <laughs> and it now comes into play. Hmm. Multitude of people now are against them. Be reminded what Romans 8.31 says. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? When God asks you to do something and you set out to do the work of God so long as you are in the will of God, look, if it's you alone, you are in the majority because God is with you. You and everybody else and me and God, you will be in the minority. But you and God would be in the majority. Be reminded, his children, those of us who are Christians, our battle is not against flesh and blood. The battle is against Satan and his demonic forces that use flesh and blood to oppose the Lord's work. A, my time is up. I'm anxious to get back next morning and share with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to be careful not to be intimidated by anyone or by anything when we are called upon to serve you. Have your way with us now. Help us not to be intimidated, not to share their Lord. God, may we share these devotions. Oh, Father, somebody need these. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. May God bless you. Anxious to get back with you next morning.